right, here's what I'm doing. Since I got all my stuff taken care of here, I'm gonna see. Seventy seven degrees. The hubs. Let's try it again. Seventy six. This one definitely feels warmer. This is the one that got tore up. Ninety. I could feel the difference. Check it again over here. 76. All right, let's get to the other side. And this was just coming over to Dell to bring the boat in for the repower. Let's see. Eighty seven degrees on the uh, port side. Ninety three. So, for some reason, the back axle definitely takes the brunt. Eighty nine, eighty seven. Ninety-two. Let's try it again. That's really something, isn't it, folks? Seventy-five. Eighty-six. Well, that certainly is something, isn't it? Your temperatures of your hubs and how it varies. Because if I could ever get a financial break, I will be replacing those axles. So, this is a good little thing to have the temperature gauge, thanks to the tips and tricks of Dr. Gary, also known as Orawalk. Okay, let me get a rag. What am I doing? Well, I'm over here today to drop the boat off at Del Marine Boat Sales. And I'm too early because I forgot that on Saturdays it's nine to five or nine to two. So, I'm real early. It's only like 8.20. So here's what I do when I go on a long ride. Tighter than Dick's hat band. You know Dick's hat is never coming off. It's stuck on there real good. Just like Dick's hat band. I can do this because, see, on a fiberglass boat, it's going to mar it. Maybe what I need to do is keep, maybe in the rear axle, I need to keep a little uh, extra air. I have not touched these since the day I got it back from the trailer place. Goodbye. I just spent $400. Well, no, I spent about $300 on all new, let's see, between, no, $400 on, um, water pump having this thing completely resealed let's see what else did i spend money on i spent big money on a uh, o2 sensor i spent a lot of money on this thing in the last year or two years a lot of it's self-inflicted so lots of self-infliction going on 
Let's see what time it is. All right. 8.30. Almost 8.30. I got 30 minutes to wait until they open. Yeah, they do Yamahas. Big time Carolina skiffs. Kind of took over from uh, a relationship I used to have with a relationship I used to have with a place called Caps Marine. They used to be big, big time, big time Sea Chaser Carolina skiff dealer. I ran, uh, let's say, six of their demo boats for them, or Carolina skiff Sea Chaser Bay boats. So what do I need to know today? Well, what he's going to do, he's going to check out the old Suzuki. I need to find out how much I'm going to get from the wholesaler. And I need to know what day they're going to be mounting and what day for possible pickup so I can go break her in. Uh, that's the three main things I need to know. And is this wholesaler dude going to write me a check? Because that check goes straight into the financing of the new Suzuki. So let's take an overview of the Jetty Wolf. Yes, sir. Looking good. Looking good. All right, Larry Seegers, this is for you because this is my kind of boat. This may be your kind of boat. Here's a Scully's. Morgan City, Louisiana. Look at that. I love this. Love this. They actually bring this down and call it a fantail. But here you go. Yes, an aluminum Scully's. Look how this thing's built. Very, very simple and nice. Big old splash well. I like this. Storage underneath. Looks like just a lift out down here in the bottom right there. Looks like that's a possible just lift out uh, rigging area. You got a gas tank up under the console. Could it be any more simple than that? Flip floppy storage box seat. What do they got on here? Look at the cleats. That's a work boat cleat right there now. They got the big D rubber. That's really nice. It's very, very well made boat. So you got your Scullies and your Hankos. They're about the same. They probably hate me for saying that. But, um, it's your sort of John Boat styling. They got a, a 150 Suzuki on the back. Very well made boat. Look at that. Steps built in. Because, of course, this one's got push knees. This is a real work boat. But, uh, big gunnels. I like the tread. I like that. Keeps you from having to put paint on it. Paint is a pain in the ass. After I had paint, I know what paint is all about. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Steps to get in. That's nice. That's very nice. That's something you ought to think about. Uh, really good looking welds. Look at this. Giant gouges. Anybody else's boat? That's called a hull. Just take the push knees off the front and put a top on this thing and you got a hell of a boat. Some rod holders in it. Look at the width of the gunnels. All I got is a single battery. Really accessible rigging. Everything's very accessible. Uh, I see like a breather tube over there. I wonder what that's for. There's like a breather. Huh. Look how much room. You got a lot of room. If you side consoled something like this, this is probably about a 20 footer, 21 footer. If you side consoled this, look how much room you'd have. If you had smaller cleats, of course, bring those cleats a little down so they're not hanging stuff up. Yep, this would be my style of next boat. For sure. 
This is the kind of boat I'm into. I'm really into this. I'm really glad to see one. And somebody eats a lot of somebody eats a lot of sunflower seeds. I love just super accessibility. Simple dash. Gas filler. Gas filler right there. Oh, that's nice. This is nice. I love the this type of aluminum. Don't discount this type of aluminum. All right, there you go, Larry. A Scully's 20-footer. Yeah. That thing can do about anything you want it to do. It's kind of like the aluminum Carolina skiff. There's the bow of a Carolina skiff, an older one. And there's the bow of this one. A little hulkier. Alrighty, what'd you think about that Scully's aluminum boat? Man, gotta love that durability and simplicity. That's what I like. Man, do I like that. So, alright, well, I, it's Saturday. I dropped the boat off. I saw my engine in a crate. And uh, let's see how quick next week they can... Uh, Let's see how quick next week they can get me out of there with the engine on my boat and uh, get everything sort of back to normal here. So that will be the next video is bringing her home. I lied on the last video where I said the next video you'll see is I'll be pulling home with a brand new 250 Suzuki. Um, yeah, I lied. <laughs> so I saw mine in the crate. It's there. All I have to do is check out mine, and I should be getting a check from this wholesaler guy of undetermined, really, amount. That's what we do. Cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. And you thought that was it. Well, guess what? I'm back. I wanted to show you. I'm going to try not to put a shadow on here because of the light. The way I got the light here. Here's the old whiteboard. The whiteboard of maintenance. And it's all Suzuki. And it's a little bit of my Merc kicker. And everything's on here. Ridline flushes, new T-stats, new anodes, new fuel cooler, O2 sensor change, water pump completed, high, low pressure filters, plugs, date changed. This is how I conduct myself. So I just wanted to show you my board here. And this will be all cleaned off at least dates will let's see let's do the I was running some sea foam for carbonization don't need to do that no more because I won't have a carb carbon issue or anything on my engine ridline flush I can get rid of these dates I guess new T stat I can get rid of those dates Internal anodes, I can get rid of those dates. <laughs> New fuel cooler, I can get rid of that entire thing because you know why? I shouldn't have an issue anymore because I'm never, ever running it out on that stupid flush deal. So here I am cleaning off the whiteboard to start fresh all over again.
And see, what I'm looking for is for my customers, I'm looking for to have new reliability all the time. This whiteboard has been a big part of my entire life. Uh, and you've, I've played everything on this whiteboard basically through my YouTube channel. So you can see me do it and maybe do it yourself and learn something at the same time. Mr. Reagan has a professional editor. He's another guy I watch, Chris. Um, Mark Dice, I believe, has a, a professional editor. I'd like to get to that point where I could do four a week, let's say, at least, and have a professional editor. Just hand it to them, boom, and they post it. I'd love to get to that point because that's what holds you back from doing a ton of videos many times. I mean, just one, unless you just want crap videos where, you know, you do it on your phone and then you upload it to YouTube. I mean, come on. I need my YouTube channel to be part of my business and it has become that. It can only go one way. It can only go one way. And I want it to keep going, so. With your support, and I want to say thank you to everybody who's visited my Tools of the Trade page. You directly support my YouTube channel by going there because I get certain things. My arm's getting tired. I get certain things uh, when I do a review or a knife or something, okay? I know you all hate knives. You don't come here for knives, but that's too bad. I like knives. And there's some, I got four people that are subscribers that do love knives. So when I get something, uh, I bought that extended fish grabber to hold the big red fish over the side of the boat. That was 100% right off my Tools of the Trade page. Uh, a Dexter Russell fillet knife that I did. That is a the black bladed one or whatever. That's a direct straight off of my Amazon Tools of the Trade page income. Because you know what I get? You buy something off of my YouTube or uh, my Tools of the Trade Amazon page, I get like pennies. So it's just pennies. So thanks for watching. I've been rambling on too much, but look at that. Look at that cleaned off board to start fresh again. I might not go as hog wild as I did on this because what really spurred keeping the engine as squeaky clean as I can was that fuel cooler issue. And plus, I'm not going to reiterate doing these same videos I did before just with a new engine. I'm not going to do that. We'll be moving on into other things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up. You're following me on this journey once again. So stay tuned. Sitting around the house, got nothing to do. I think I'm Blue